Good afternoon, Eleni. Thanks for making time to talk to me this afternoon about what you do at Sani Resorts. I'm talking with Eleni Andreadis, who is the Group Director of Sustainability and CSR at this resort, which is actually five hotels on the Greek coast. Um, I met Eleni at a conference about uh, sustainable hotels, and I was incredibly impressed by what she had to say. So I invited her to do an interview with me and talk about why, why the hotel group has chosen to place as much emphasis as they do on sustainability. And Lainey, when did the group start to operate this resort? Um, well, hi, Harold, and thank you so much for the invitation. Um, so we started uh, to operate in the 80s, effectively, as an um, managed as in managed the the hotel uh, resort ourselves and um the project evolved from uh two hotels at the time uh, to five hotels as you said around uh, a marina with restaurants uh, um uh, in the north of greece in halkiriki what what brought the group to that part of greece what what made it special <laughs> Well, uh, I'm not going to be a very objective because it's where I'm from. Um, so it was actually it's a it's a started as a family business. Um, uh, my grandfather specifically with a, with a partner purchased the land um, uh, back in the 60s and um, close to where the family was from. So uh, it was a, a family endeavor at first. The family is still involved and uh, our shareholders, but now we have strategic investors. So it's it's changed in that respect, but it's still a place that we really, really love. And it's actually a very, as I'm sure we'll talk about, a biodiverse spot that, that we're lucky um, uh, to be hosted uh, hosted by in, 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 in the midst of that incredible nature. So you generally have local roots as a business with the community and with the landscape? Yes, that's, it's absolutely, it's where I grew up. Um, I actually grew up in the hotel <laughs> and uh, and in that nature. So it's fantastic to um, to actually to be back and to be able to contribute, especially as as part of the um, uh, of all our ESG efforts and our um, sustainability initiatives. Eleni, I don't usually do this, but I want just briefly to share screen because I think it's extraordinary um, you go to your website and you go to the home page and you come to a series of films and then you would obviously you'd click on the resort next wouldn't you and then to my absolute amazement when i looked at your website after i'd met you the third button down is actually sustainability and it goes into all the details then of the different ways in which you've made the resort sustainable and Equally extraordinarily, it starts with being in harmony with nature. Now, I understand that that's come out of your family's connection with the area, but it is, I don't remember ever looking at a resort or hotel website that had sustainability so high um, in the buttons you could press when you went to look at it. You obviously put this right at the heart of your business strategy. Now, could you explain why? Yeah, it's um, it really has become integral to what we do, to how we operate, to the culture of the company. Um, it it started off, I would say, the, the vision was always, as I said, to um, to place a resort in this um, incredibly blessed uh, part of Greece, um, and to be able to preserve right from the beginning, um, from Sort of my grandfather's time, my my father, um, uh, my, his brother, um, to uh, have uh, to, to operate in uh, with respect to nature, and of course this has has evolved into um, a program. When we looked at it being an, an, an official sort of when I started the the Sunny Green program as it started uh, sort of fifteen years ago, of course we 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 looked at uh, the the full. Um, uh, scale of our operations um, and how we can be sustainable, but also to have, and 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 now uh, to this day we have uh, three components. Apart from the the actual sustainability in our operations that has 
largely to do with our triple zero goal being net zero, um, uh, zero plastic and uh, zero waste to landfill. Uh, we also have uh, very uh, extensive programs to do with contributing uh, to the preservation of local biodiversity, as well as to uh, the welfare of the local community. Um, we partner with over 40 organizations, uh, local organizations predominantly, um, to further these goals. So to give you an example, uh, partnering with IC is a great marine conservation organization uh, headquartered very close to where we uh, are in Thessaloniki, the second largest city in Greece. And we've, uh, we've uh, enabled a program to document the dolphin, the unknown dolphin populations in uh, in our coast. So uh, the, uh, the uh, and to make that, I should say, part of the guest experience as well. So apart from um, from this project to also bring this to say the kids club or to enable our guests to be part of this marine um, uh, marine uh, biologist team. So um, it's it's really, uh, we, we don't want it. And I think companies know this nowadays, it, it can't really just be an add-on. Obviously it's something that permeates the culture of, of what we do. And I think that's why it's reflected in that way um, on our website as well. Well, anyway, that was a very good answer, but can I just try to get it absolutely clear for people who might be listening to this interview? What would you say are the three main reasons why you adopted this business strategy? So one, I think, is that uh, just the ethical uh, side to it. So it's, as I said, it's been in the, it's the, the family culture and the initial vision was always uh, for sustainability to be at the heart of what we do. Um, the, uh, the second element, I suppose, is the, the real, the care and the responsibility that we take very seriously to be one of the um, key uh, companies operating in that area and um, being able to contribute to the local community and to have a positive impact um, uh, in terms of, of, of our business. Um, and I would say also the third component is that guests are uh, very interested in this. So I would it was interesting because just before we went um, online, we were discussing uh, this and, and, uh, uh, and I was taken aback by the um, you know, your attention to the placement of sustainability on our website, because I hadn't really thought, uh, thought of it, that, that it was something that was so, that was so novel, because we're so in, uh, in, into the, into our business. So I hadn't really noticed that, but of course, it's something that our guests really, really care about. And it's something that enriches the guest experience. And it's something maybe the guests don't expect. So to be able to go to the Sani wetlands and for it to be, or to have visit the largest bee spots in Greece, um, you know, to, as I mentioned, the dolphin project. So people don't expect really to engage to this extent with wildlife as well in uh, in a part of, of Europe, even I would say of Southern Europe. So um, uh, it's 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 something that that also is very appealing to our guests, and that, uh, if I'm being honest, is also part of the reason why it's prominently there and why we invest in this, apart from the obvious ethical implications, which are at the core. When we were talking before, you, I think you let slip that this is a new website, and you perhaps <laughs> hadn't spent a lot of time looking at it before. I think you were slightly surprised by the prominence it had been given by your marketeer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more familiar with our previous website, but even in our previous website, I would say it was, uh, if I remember correctly, three clicks away from the resort. Um, so now it's two clicks away. So it's it was still very prominent, uh, but now it's even more so because of all the video content as well. Even, you know, it, it, it's so prominent in terms of the messaging. Um, and, and if you like, I think what's also played a role in this is, is, is COVID because um, part of our messaging also was the, the, um, the fact that so much of what we do is, is outdoors. We have, we're blessed with a lot of space. Uh, so that's, uh, that's also part of, uh, you would have seen safety also on, on that list as well because uh, of, of the, uh, a further reason to connect even more with nature is that we actually offer so many of our experiences outdoors, which was important during the COVID time as well and, and fed into 
into the website when as it was being developed at the time Elena, i wasn't um i wasn't trying to embarrass you i was really wanting to make the point that you've obviously over time over time increased the sustainability component within both what you're doing with the resort but also in the marketing of the resort absolutely absolutely um, the other thing that having watched some of the videos now that that really comes over is that experiential opportunity for the guests for for adults and children to actually be part of that natural environment in a very unspoilt um it looks like paradise um though i'm sure that needs a fair amount of management to keep it as clean i don't believe greek beaches are completely without litter i'm sure you get some washed up I don't think, unfortunately Must any be beaches in the world are without uh, uh plastic litter unfortunately and we do we do spend a lot of time um uh obviously in the maintenance um uh, we're lucky that we are in a remote part of Greece, but we still we maintain kilometers of trails uh, in the forest. Um, it's it's a big part of uh, of what we do. We also have um, uh, uh, a lot of partnerships uh, to to, um, to be able to do that. That we um, uh, such as for example the Hellenic Ornithological Association, who are the BirdLife International partners in Greece, who help us with the maintenance of the wetlands and. All the signposting and 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 all these things. So it is it is a big uh, a big part of um, of what we do and and a big uh, and a big um, investment from our side as well. Um, it should be said. It's a big and big annual expense, isn't it? Just to maintain that kind of environment, it doesn't maintain itself. Particularly if you've got access to the sea, which will always be washing up rubbish, even if it's not dropped uh, within the resort. One of the things that struck me is that it's so much an experiential place that I'm assuming you get a fair amount of repeat business. We do. We have a, a very high rate. Uh, over half our business um, is uh, from repeat guests. And you find people coming with their children and then presumably in the future, the children will come back and bring their children. <laughs> I don't know if we've if we've monitored this, but I'd be very interested. I I have heard of a lot of stories of even three generations visiting us, um, but uh, but definitely I I think that um, you know you you get uh, we're we're heavy on family business. Obviously, we have a lot of uh, families, uh, and we definitely cater for uh, for for children of all ages. Um, Probably when kids are, uh, you know, in the in the teen uh, teen years, and maybe they want to go to Mykonos. I don't know where they want to go, but we we still have a lot of teenagers, and certainly we have a lot of uh, young adults uh, coming back. Um, and uh, the loyalty, as well as the guest satisfaction scores that we have across the services we offer and on sustainability, are um, are 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 very important in terms of. Um, getting uh um uh, getting that you know that repeat business so i'm guessing you get all of the advantages of sustainability for your for your business strategy in terms of uh good relationships with the local community high repeat business um and a lot of pr and marketing attention because of the sheer beauty of what you've achieved Yes, the, I mean, there are the challenges, as I said, overall, um, having the positive impact uh, for the local community is 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 a really big um, is, is a really big thing for us. Uh, we have challenges, for example, uh, maybe the um, local hunting association uh, where there are parts. Unfortunately, there's still a small part of the wetlands that also is home to uh, even internationally endangered birds. Um, has a, a window period where um, uh, uh, people can still hunt. So I don't want to, you know, um, paint a completely rosy picture for everything. Um, there are obviously big challenges, um, uh, and that's why we're 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 working hard on them with with long term goals. You know, just to give you an idea, when we started 15 years ago, there weren't even officially started signing green there weren't even recycling facilities um 
uh, in the local uh, area. So we had to find ways around that. And and now today we're um, uh, almost, and by next year we'll be completely zero waste to landfill, um, uh, zero plastic, um, so zero single use plastic, I should say. Uh, so it's we've come a long way. There are challenges along the way, and of course there are there are huge benefits as well. And sometimes, you know, the economic benefits are catching on rather than leading the way, unfortunately. So uh, looking at waste, it's only now uh, this uh, this month actually that pay as you throw has come into effect in our country. So the uh, it, it, we've been you know. Um, financing our whole recycling composting project without having any benefit in terms of uh, reduction in uh, local taxes because we're not uh, throwing so many things away to the uh, the landfill so uh, it's it's a mixed bag really but overall i would say that the, the the benefit is huge and that's what you know i'm often asked to talk at conferences and such in terms of smaller hotel groups and what the benefits are and Overall, I mean, there's absolutely no doubt that uh, there's there's a huge benefit, uh, you know, ethically, obviously, to the local community and to the business uh, uh, as a whole. I guess a sort of final question from me. It's obviously a family managed and owned business. Do you think that's fundamental to why you've adopted the strategy you have? Is it because of that connection between your family and that land over several generations? I think it is a big reason. I think it's it, it's definitely a big reason um, because it was part of the family DNA and the vision. Uh, it was uh, also, um, for me, it was, I studied environmental policy and it was something that I wanted to bring back when I came back um, to Greece after being abroad, working and studying for some years, so it's um, as as it, it is in many ways. I can't imagine uh, a different. Um, we 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 were never um, sort of multinational that had uh, standards that they would just uh, uh, implement across the board. We had to. Um, uh, we had to find ways around, creative ways around problems in order to make this happen. But the commitment uh, has been there from the top. And I think that sort of helped us to um, uh, to be where we are today, uh, where it's also now much more talked about and now investors and banks and all, the, you know, you have everyone aligning kind of behind this now. Um, but we've been working on this uh, for, uh, you know, for many, many years now. And I think that uh, the investment that we put into this is down to uh, the culture of the family, I, I think. And it's part of the reason you think that you're doing it for the benefit of your children and their children? For me personally, do you mean? Oh, and for you personally and possibly for the other members of your family who are involved with the business um i think so yes for me certainly i think anyone uh working in sustainability um uh who has children or maybe doesn't have children um is uh very afraid of what the future holds um it's uh the situation is beyond urgent um i i don't see uh, talking about biodiversity, you know, we, we talked about that um, briefly, you know, we the situation is dire. So I couldn't imagine us as a profitable business uh, in the area, not doing the, the most that we can to help um, support all these wonderful organizations working towards this aim and to see how we can help them to contribute to that. So um, I would say personally, for me, it's a huge motivator. Um, to keep me going, even when things uh, look so difficult. And then uh, I, I would hazard a guess that for uh, uh, my father, for anyone uh, in the family who's involved with the business, my uncle um, and his uh, and their partners, I would say that it's 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 a very big uh, motivator um, right from the beginning. I think it is perhaps worth saying, I think one of the biggest problems that we have at the moment is a as a species is that we we think very short term and thinking about the future is not something which we're 
very good at, but you do still find that in family-owned businesses. And I, I think it's one of the reasons why they are often leaders, this kind of field, this sense that there is a responsibility um, to leave something for the children. You see it a lot in uh, family-owned farms and you see it in family-owned tourism businesses of your sort as well. Thank you very much, Eleni. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and I'd certainly like to talk to you again. So we will arrange- Thank you, Harold. Thank interview. you for the opportunity to um, to to be, to be talk to uh, the people who follow you. I follow you very, very carefully. I know a lot of people in my field do. So thanks so much for the opportunity and the um, chance to talk to you. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Thank you.